was born in St. Louis. Well, actually, I was born in Chicago, Illinois. And my mother tells me when I was born, it was a raging blizzard and snowstorm, which I really think is why I, when somebody says, what environment do you love the most? Where do you feel the most vitally alive? It's always in snow and cold. I just love it. Well, five stages uh, came to me one day when I woke up and my neck was killing me. And I have scoliosis and reverse curve in my neck. But there's more to the story. I'd been working with a psychologist, which I've done for many years. I've probably done every kind of psychology you can possibly imagine. And my therapist had suggested that I seek out a book called Emotional Anatomy by Stanley Kellerman. Now, he told me that because I'd gone to him, and I was a little concerned that students in my class taking Nia were crying. And I couldn't understand why they were crying. And he said, you know, I think you need to understand a little bit more about the body and about emotions. And at the same time, I was going through a separation, and he was encouraging me to really dive deep into my emotions. So I'd been using the work of Stanley Kellerman, Emotional Anatomy, to process emotions and to understand emotions. But on this day, I woke up, and my neck hurt, and I thought, you know, if the five movements that I've been doing to uh, sense my emotional beingness help me so much emotionally, what could they possibly do physically? So I got down on the floor and I went through the five stages without focusing on my emotions or anything, just moving. And I stood up and what I noticed was instantly the pain was gone in my neck. Well, I didn't trust it. I figured it was a fluke. And so the next day I woke up, sure enough, my neck felt painful. I got down on the floor, did the five movements, embryonic, creeping, crawling, standing, walking. I don't think I spent more than 45 seconds in each stage. And I got up, and again, the pain was gone. So I spent probably about eight months to a year tracking my own physical sensations and using the five stages to eliminate discomfort. Most of the discomfort I would feel would be in my low back, in my neck, or in my hips. So I decided that you know if it was working for me, I needed a larger body of individuals to test it. Maybe it was just my body. So I brought it into the NIA training in Blue Belt and started sharing it with teachers and with students who came to train in the NIA technique. And the same thing. After literally a five-minute practice of the five stages, everybody stood up and said, I feel better. And as I began to explore why this was true, I was, uh, I was pleased to see that the reason it was working was based on the design of the body and based on the nervous system and based on what happens when you go down to the floor and what happens when you stop thinking and let the body undo what you've done by living in your body with whatever injury or whatever dysfunction is there. And I realized that it was so simple to let the body undo itself by moving, moving in a way where the connective tissue has a way to balance uh, energy flow, where my nervous system has an opportunity to calm down and, and relax. 
and my bones and joints and muscles in their own intelligence know how to reorganize themselves and basically put me back together in a way where I'm supported by the earth I stand on and the energy field that is naturally designed to draw me up and out. Whereas gravity over you know the end of the day, even within a couple of hours of being up, gravity does its thing. And later I then took it into class and started using these five movements at the end of class and people would come up and say how good they felt. And uh, that's really, really how it started. So thank you, Stanley Talwin and Emotional Anatomy. My desire has always been to help people heal their body, not just gain cardiovascular fitness, but heal. And so what does healing mean? Well, to me, healing means doing something where you feel better so that regardless of where one is in their healing process, whether living, dealing from a short or long-term illness, uh, in recovery from something, or even in the process of dying, I believe everybody can feel better. And I love the fact that the five stages was so simple, that just five movements, five minutes a day, one minute in each stage, that the body could feel better. And I felt that it was important to share this work in a group exercise class to bring healing into the fitness market, to instill in people's minds that while I don't only go to a class to get stronger, muscle definition, cardiovascular conditioning. But I can also go to a class very different from yoga and address the needs of my nervous system and give back to my body in ways that allows it to, to heal and therefore function and move better. And so I decided to create, to create the class. And when it first started, I called it the Neophyte Stages of Self-Healing. And then I decided to drop from the title self-healing. And the only reason I did was that there were many facilities that didn't want to use that. They felt like it was too much of a promise. But I know that the Neo Five Stages is all about self-healing and that is doing something that uh, makes you feel better. You know, um, easy is something that oftentimes uh, people don't trust. I remember when I first started creating Nia, thinking that, oh my God, this feels so good and it's so easy. How could it possibly work? And I thought for sure that my thighs were gonna get flabby, my ass was gonna drop down a couple of inches. It was so good and it felt so easy. And it took time for me to trust that the path of least resistance and dynamic ease is really the way. And it took me a while to connect to the sensation of systemic movement where I felt revitalized through my movement and, not, and that I didn't feel like one part of my body had to overwork in order for me to get the job done. Ease sneaks up on you and it's, uh, it's very, very powerful. One of the most rewarding things for me as a teacher of the five stages is watching that moment when people come from standing up into walking. And it's, it's like watching somebody dive up after they've been holding their breath underwater. 
and the look on their face, I know what they're feeling. And it's, I, I love it every time. Where anybody, regardless of their age, regardless of their level of their health uh, or fitness, can reap the benefits from this extraordinary simple practice.